Now I will read the section on uh, Nkambe. This features in the last chapter, uh, Nanga Hills. It was here at this grandstand that in the mid 1990s, Ni John Frunzi, the charismatic leader of the main opposition party, the Social Democratic Front, used to arouse the crowd with his entrancing speeches, making you dream of something new to come, of a better country. Whenever the rally fell during school hours, the school campus speedily vacated and there was nothing the principal could do. Ni John Frundi had a rather hypnotic effect on the crowd. It was believed he had magical powers. During his rallies in Kambe, he was usually introduced by Martin Yembe, a young firebrand militant from Ndu. Martin Yembe symbolized youthful leadership. During these rallies, the climax always came when Frunzi, rolling his sleeves, raised his left hand in the air and rumbled, SDF. And the crowd responded, Power! SDF. Power. The third round of responses always required a full sentence. And that was the rub. Power to the people and equal opportunities to all. That was when many merely hummed and rumbled along, like during the Lord's Prayer and the National Anthem. The SDF party was better known in Pigeon as Sofa Don't Finish, Suffering Has Ended. For many people who cared less about socialism, but more about the end of suffering, the second meaning stood as the one and only meaning of the abbreviation SDF. Like Aikwe Arma's Ma'anan, in the beautiful ones are not yet born, the voice of Ni John Frundi always sought you from the entire crowd and addressed you personally. Ay, man, let me wait it. Let it soak itself in love. Today things have gone inside me and they have brought out what I have hidden in me. He brought them up. They were not new to me. Only I have never seen anything to go and fish them out like that. He was reading me. I know he was speaking to me, to you too. But did you hear him? How can a man born of a woman tell me my thoughts, even before I myself know them? I ask you, from the beautiful ones are not yet born by Aikwe Arma. Walking on these grounds in Kambe, you could not bear to think that the SDF was still in the rain decades after. 
not even granted the chance to disappoint. After its victory was stolen in the presidential elections of 1992. Two days before your trip to Nkambe, you could not resist the questioning gaze of your mom. You could not tell her, as you always did before, I will marry when I want. But you had entered your thirties, and so had Paul Beer's New Deal regime. Thank you.